Swami Vivekananda said, all people are walking like dead bodies. And if you wanted to convince somebody, you go all around the world convincing people who are giving a lot of money. But the same if you had done it in India, there would have been less of problems. This is what I think. In Japan, there was a saying above the age of 35, do not convince anybody to change. Neither try to give them any advice to. Instead, slowly without making noise from the grass level of the youngsters, create the small change. Even if one lady was running a noodle shop in the center of the road where they wanted to make it a massive big highway, she refused because she was having a lot of men coming there to have noodles after their work. And one group of men will always come there to share his pain about the office. Another group of men will always want to talk about his wife and children back in the village. And this lady listens and she keeps on pouring the noodle. And this was going on for years because men come to the city and work for around 40 to 45 years. And she didn't want to change. So when government decided to make the road, they made the road all around her and still she was the only one left in the center of that massive big traffic jam and government did not throw her out. She continued and people continued to go there. Trying to bring down the psychological problems is the greatest mission for any leader and that is to be respected. That respect flows love. Otherwise the same kind of poverty continues. We have to understand that one. As children, your duty is to make sure that you don't change what has been already been done above the age of 35 for your parents. Instead, create another bigger circle without touching that one. So that pain can be brought down. The dead man answers the 42nd Zen story from the Zen flesh Zen bones. When Mamiya, who later became a well-known preacher, went to a teacher for personal guidance. He was asked to explain the sound of one hand. Listen, he didn't ask the sound of the one hand clapping. He said the sound of the one hand. What is the sound of the one hand? You must be thinking the sound of the one hand is you, your talent, your body as got a priceless ornament that sound did you hear the sound of the eyes piercing penetrating deep and far which can even touch the sky you don't need any rockets to land in the moon they can see the moon from here the stars the sound of one hand the piercing beauty of the years, my previous secretary used to tell me, those people have got copper ears, <laughs> that means they can hear so properly, so clearly. The ears can hear two and a half kilometers, Chakurki says, the sound of one hand, yours. Your mouth when you open, it is sweet or rough music which flows the hand so much wealth you forget he was asked to explain the sound of the one hand explanation means participation with the totality of your body the body doesn't expect anything at the same time everything is expected and accepted Earth has provided enough for man's needs, but not for his greed. As long as you don't have the greed, it is in abundance. Enough, more. Hence, the warrior code continued to say, roar like a thousand man warrior because I can see thousands of kilometers. That is the roar. The ears can hear thousands of kilometers. 
The mind can travel thousands of kilometers. You can walk. They say monkeys travel 32 kilometers per day. Man walks. Even now in the villages, if they ask you, where is your cousin's house? They'll say, it's there next door. Next door is 32 kilometers because one portion of his land alone will be 100 acres to 1,000 acres. So 1,000 is not a small. The sound of the one hand, if you know to maintain your, the body given by your parents, by the God or the nature, and when that body becomes so powerful, magnified, you can see the whole world accepts that beauty and you can always find your film is houseful. Your stores are always sold out, materials are sold out. Such is the beauty of that one hand. Hence, Ramana Maharshi came in beauty and said, Ask who am I? It means the sound of that one hand. Jesus Christ said, Knock and the door shall be opened. Knock your own doors to listen to that sound of your own doors of the power of your eyes. Power of your brain to walk into the valleys, into ponds, into the rivers. The earth, the mother earth can suck all the poisons from your feet. Hence now in western countries, people are walking in barefoot and they found all the diseases of God. Yes. And then Krishna came in the warrior court and said, roar like a thousand men warrior. Yes. And Arjuna understood, it is false, weak and huge. When you look at the Tridak, piercing the eye at one particular point a day comes with that small dot becomes a huge big circle. You pull the bow, the arrow hits the bull. Again and again and again and bull's eye again and again and again and again. Without even looking at the bull's eye again and again, it'll hit that same point. Because anything you see is huge. Anything you see is full of love and energy. You don't find that as Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra, big and the small, black and the white. You just see them as the totality.